Let A and B be two events in a sample space. Suppose that the probability of A is 0.4, A or B is 0.7, and B probability of B is K. For what value of K are the events A and B mutually exclusive? Okay, so mutually exclusive means that um, A and B, let's actually say here, mutually exclusive. Think of the word excluded. We know that included means that um, you allow things to be apart. So if you include someone into your friend group, you're allowing them to be a part of your friend group. When you are excluding, it means that you are telling or you're pushing things away or you're not allowing things to happen or you're not allowing the friend to be part of your friend group or something like that. So when things are mutually exclusive, it means that A and B cannot happen at the same time or to uh, cannot happen yeah, at the same time. It means that the probability of A and B must be zero. Visually, on a Venn diagram, mutually exclusive looks like this. Can you see that the part where they intersect does not exist, okay? Because normally the part where they intersect, we call that the A and B, that's A and B. But we've just said, we've just said that with mutually exclusive, this part must be a zero. How do you make it a zero? By pulling them apart like that. Okay, so now we're going to go back to the basic probability formula that we've learned about in grade 11, which goes like this. Let's say the word or. It's on our formula sheets as well. And B. So we know that this one is 0 0.7. They told us up here. We know that this one is 0 0.4. We know that this one is K. And we know that this one must be 0 because we've just said if it's mutually exclusive, that part must be a 0. And so if you had to go solve for K now, you would get 0 0.3. This next one says, for what value of K are A and B independent? Now independent, you must remember, it just means the following. It means that the probability of A and B is equal to the probability of A multiplied by the probability of B, okay? That is what independent means. So what we'll go and do is, once again, we'll go use this formula. And we'll still say 0 0.7 over here. We'll still say 0 0.4. Uh, we don't know what that one is. But now for this part, we can say that it's the probability of A multiplied by the probability of B, which will be 0 0.4 multiplied by the probability of B, which is a K. And so now we can just say 0 0.7 equals to 0 0.4 plus k minus 0 0.4 k. These two together will become 0 0.6. Some learners get very confused with that. Remember, there's a 1 here. So 1 minus 0 0.4 is 0 0.6. I'm going to take this over to the other side. So that'll become 0 0.3. Okay. You're then going to divide both sides by 0 0.6. And you should get an answer of a half. You mustn't get an answer of 2. Then you've done this part in the opposite direction. So K would then be a half. 